Funnily enough, I almost didn't audition for High School Musical. I would have very much regretted that. Hey, it's Joshua Bassett, and I'm here today with Clever News. You guys asked me some questions, and I'm going to answer as many as I can. So buckle up, because it's about to get real personal. Here we go. Question number one. This is my bowl. Everybody, so thank you. Okay, question number one. How would you describe Ricky in season two in five words? That's oddly specific. All over the place, always done. How do you address and deal with rumors whilst keeping your life private? Um, I think that rumors and, and drama is nothing new, you know? It's just uh, on a little bit of a different scale now. But you just have to remember that most people don't know what they're talking about when they're talking about your personal life and things that they think they know. And they also probably don't know the damage that they're doing to you. Just let it go and understand that it's not personal. You guys really did send these in. When are you collaborating with Harry Styles? That day will be the literal death of me. <laughs> uh, why don't you ask Harry that? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I actually haven't been responding to his calls, so I should probably get back to him. He just keeps asking me to do an album, and I'm like, dude, let's just do one song, and then we'll worry about the album. Calm down. You know? Anyway, one day. One day soon. Let's manifest it. Let's make it happen. What is it about Harry Styles that I admire? What I admire about Harry Styles is he's a very classy man, and he's also very well-rounded, and you know, he kind of does it all, like acting, singing, fashion, and I think that he's just a nice guy who... Doesn't say too much, but when he talks, like it matters, does that make sense? He's just cool, like he's cool. Who doesn't think Harry Styles is cool? Also, he's hot, you know? Uh, he's very charming too. Lots of things. I guess this is my, um, this is also my coming out video, I guess. Uh, which song was the most difficult for you to write? That's a tricky word, difficult, because there have been songs that I've written in 20 minutes that were emotionally challenging. And then there are songs that were just really hard to write because I, like, I couldn't finish them. Do It All Again was one that took a long time to get right. I had like came up with the guitar part for a while and then I just kept coming up with different lyric ideas but nothing was sticking. And then eventually I, like, I was able to do it. A song really is written in 20 minutes at the end of the day. Like the, the actual writing of a song happens instantaneously but it takes so much time like get to that point, if that makes sense. Like processing your emotions and, and uh and all that stuff, but once it flies, it sort of flies. Have you heard JBPS on Twitter? <laughs> it stands for Joshua Bassett Protection Squad. Ah, I didn't know I had a protection squad. Um, I will definitely have to check it out and uh, pop in. Maybe we can have a Joshua Bassett Protection Squad Zoom and all we can all hang out together. But um, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, you can't always defend yourself in certain situations. So it is nice to have people kind of standing up for you on your behalf. So thank you for that. Really, truly, honestly, thank you. What is something you thought of doing then ended up not doing it and regretted not doing it later in life? I do feel like I have many more regrets of things I have done than things I haven't done. I tend to be somebody who, if I'm unsure if I'm going to do something or not, I tend to lean towards doing it. Funnily enough, I almost didn't audition for High School Musical, I would have very much regretted that. Very, very much. What's your favorite part of being on High School Musical and Musical series? And what can we look forward to in season two? My favorite part of being in High School Musical and Musical series is the camaraderie within the cast and the support that we all have. These people are so special and they've always been so special to me. And this show wouldn't be anything near what it is without the cast. The cast, I mean, literally is the show because we literally are, but I think on another level, like because everyone's like such a good person and it's like, has such good chemistry and love for each other. I think that's what actually makes the show great. You can look forward to double the singing, double the dancing, double the drama, double the fun and uh, a whole lot in between. I, I can't tell you anything specific, but it's a roller coaster. And if you liked season one, you're gonna be obsessed with season two. If it was up to you, would you want Mimi to stay in East High or go to art school? That's a great question because there's a bit of a dilemma there. If Nini were to stay at the high school, obviously Ricky would love to be with her. But at the same time, this school is an opportunity and a chance for her to really shine. And so why wouldn't Ricky want Nini to go to the boarding school and like live out her dreams and, and be as fulfilled and all those fun things because the world doesn't revolve around Ricky. I think as Josh, I want Nini to go to school and to explore the world and to do all of 
follow all of her dreams and all that good stuff. Well, thank you, Clever News, and everybody who sent in their questions. Those were some really good ones that were very uh, thought-provoking. So thank you for digging deep with me today and getting all personal. Um, be sure to check out my single, Feel Something, out right now. Also, High School Musical, the musical, this series, season two, Disney Plus, from May 14th and on. So check it out. It's going to be crazy. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much to Joshua for joining us here on Clever News. So fun getting to chat with you and low key, I'm totally shipping a collab between you and Harry Styles. Guys, let me know what you thought about the interview in the comments down below and then click right over here for another Clever News video. For now guys, I'm your host Carly Henderson and I'll see you soon.